I just really hope I didn't waste $5,000 on this slab thinking I could use it. You have something awesome for me, I think. The question is, which awesome thing did I order that showed up today? GL veneer. Let's go, the slab's here. Wait till you see this sucker. How are you gonna load it? Is our fork fit in there? It's a big piece of wood, so. Yeah. Slab. Yeah. Literally, the most expensive piece of wood I've ever purchased. I bet. I think the total came in at like $4,800. It's a cottonwood burl. So it's got a bunch of like crazy shit going on with it. What have you got? <laughs> it's a big ass pallet. Hey, all right. All right, all right, all right. Huh? Do you mind steering this end? <laughs> yeah. Ta da! Yep! That's what we purchased. Okay, so this is the biggest. I've, not biggest, but the most expensive slab I've ever bought. So for the breakdown process, I wanna make sure we do it right. All right, now cottonwood is a very soft wood that we've never worked with before. In order to get that live edge to be super, super clean, a lot of people use sandblasting or soda blasting. So I'm going to go pick up a soda blaster and surprise the boys with it. Should be fun to try something new like this. So, let's go. Making my way downtown, watching passes, pieces, passing, I'm homebound. Gotta love a good rainy Tuesday. All right, so before we go anywhere, I need some gas. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Gas prices dropped 15 cents today. The perfect pump. Gas is always fun. <laughs> it's so dang loud, this shot's not I'm hungry, I need a snack. Oh, okay. So some of you may know, I've been on a diet, but I've lost like, ooh, a little over 20 pounds so far. So most of my snacks, protein bars. This is a new one. I haven't tried this yet, let's give it a shot. What do we got here? This is Let's Roll, which is cinnamon roll flavored. We got 20 grams of protein and one gram of sugar, which is what I like. Trying to go, trying to go I, I do better on a higher protein diet when it comes to weight loss. Oh my. Oh my. That's delicious. That's like dangerously good. I've never had these before. It tastes like a freaking cinnamon pop tart. Which was my favorite pop tart. I haven't had a pop tart for like 25 years. God damn. Mm. I'm gonna have to order a case of these. Oh, these are so good. Okay. Let's go to Harbor Freight. Nobody here. Alright, I can't film inside, but give me a sec. This is wild. It's like literally dark out. It's, it's 10 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, and it's literally dark. Uh, not a sandblaster, but a soda blaster. Harbor Freight soda blaster. A Harbor Freight soda blaster, which could get squirrely. Jordan is flattening the willow slab cutoffs that we had left over from the conference table. So we're gonna get this thing set up and we're gonna test it because that's a soft wood, it's got a wild edge, it doesn't take well to a bunch of our other tools. It should save us a ton of time. I actually don't know if this is the solution and the big slab that we have is burl and super gnarly. But the reason I'm trying to go with this or something like this is because it's soft. And if I get in there with aggressive tools and it's soft, it could damage that burly edge. So it says to fill this up about three quarters 
Whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By three quarters, I mean dump it everywhere. All right, off to a great start. I love that we have a funnel for, for infants. Ah. Oh. Ah. Look at that. Okay, something's wrong. Because it was blowing the stuff, because... Is there not enough stuff in it? I'm gonna throw a mask on and continue at it. <clears throat> then we're gonna get into what was $5,000 worth of wood that's sitting over there and just pucker in my butthole. I would say that's a lot faster and it does a better job. A little, a little tasty in the air. You can see how it leaves like all of these like weird edges and stuff and that's super cool. When we get to the burl, you'll see exactly why this is definitely the way to do it. So we're gonna keep cleaning these up because this is fun. And then we'll uh, split into the, the big girl. This, my friends, is what a $5,000 burl cottonwood slab looks like. Or a burl cottonwood potato yeah, chip. Yeah, this is absolutely yeah. terrifying. This is the most expensive slab I've ever bought. And I paid top dollar, full price, no discount, no sponsorship, no hookup, all the balls in the jar. So if we screw it up, Daddy's gonna be pissed. Give me the track. Ah! This is what's happening. I just really hope I didn't waste $5,000 on this slab thinking I could use it. Potato chip. Yeah. So now we're in like, you gotta figure out what this damn river is gonna look like mode. Our original, we wanted to try to get a 48 inch wide table to the corner, because we're gonna keep that as wide as we can. <clears throat> we should build a 10, a 10 foot by 40 inch box. We can lay it on top and I'll, I'll send him pictures before we start doing anything else. Let's whip one of those together real fast. Do you make the interior 40? Nice. 42. 42, yeah. I think that's even better. We're trying to find that happy medium with too much, too little river. It's like this will have a nice gradual, you know, river rolling around it. My concern is up there, it's really wide on the river, but it's like proportionately, the wood looks like it should be like this. I like this, I think. This is kind of where I want it to live. For the client, it's gonna be a little bit smaller than the original proposal, but sometimes you don't know what you got until you crack into the wood. That's the nature of this beast. So I'm gonna to try to get them on the phone, relay what I'm thinking to them before we make any decisions, and then we're gonna start cleaning this sucker up. They're cool with the orientation that I sent via photograph, which will pop up right here try to communicate as much as I can with my clients because it keeps them in the loop and creates a better customer experience. They really love this orientation, which I think is awesome, which means you're gonna get this thing cut down to size, then go on to the CNC. And if you wanna learn all my tips and tricks about business, I've got a course called Craft a Career. We've got a ton of awesome stuff in there, everything I've learned over the past decade, as well as a really, really solid community of individuals who are constantly helping each other in our Discord group. To the slab lab! I mean, what I'll do is I'll skim it, flip it, skim it. You wanna do one at a time? Good. Let's see how it should be. Let's see if close. No, we gotta plane them down. We're a little over, right around three on this side. And I think on the other side it's two and three quarters maybe. 
Our, our goal here is to keep it as thick as possible. We just gotta get them tight to the bed. No coming back. <laughs> What do we get it? Two inches? Uh, it's like two and an eighth right now. Two and a pube! Yes. I still have some of that. I want to see what it looked like. Want to see what what looked like? How much does that get? Well, enough to make it not perfectly flat. I love that every time we flatten a slab, you try to reinvent the wheel. That's not true. You're like... I told you I was going to have to flip flop. Like this is the, well I just asked if they were done. We're gonna hit it with one more pass and then I am gonna have to do the templating for the glass. Yeah, we're not doing epoxy in this one. We're gonna do a glass river. So make sure you're subscribed so you can watch the next video. See ya.